Hello students, welcome to my channel Engineers Academy. Let's solve this particular problem. In this problem, it is said that determine the x coordinate of the mass center of the tapered steel rod of length L, where the diameter at the large end is twice the diameter at the small end. Right, so we are given this uh, tapered steel rod whose length is equal to L, and this larger dia is twice the dia of this uh, this end, right? So we have to find the x coordinate of the mass center of this tapered steel, right? So what we will do is that uh, since it's a volume, so we will have to apply the volume equation, right? So I will write that x bar into v, and here we will have x c d v, right? So to apply this equation, we have to select a differential volume. Right, so now what I will do is that I will select a differential volume somewhere here, right? So I will select a differential volume like this somewhere here, right? So then this volume will be, I can write that this volume will be the area of this disk, right? We will select a circular disk here, right? Let's say that this is that disk. So the uh, volume will be equal to the area, the surface area into the thickness of this volume. So the thickness of this volume uh, along the x-axis will be dx, right? So we can write that this will be the area, this surface area will be pi d squared divided by 4. So let's say that um, the dia of this uh, differential volume is, uh, let's say, small d. Let's say that this whole dia is small d right so i will write that this will be pi d square divided by 4 into dx right so this is the dv so if you want to find the total volume of this uh, tapered rod so we have to integrate this right so if we integrate this so then as we can see that the integration is with respect to x and we need to have this uh, d square as a function. We need to have this d as a function of uh, x, right? Otherwise, we will not be able to integrate this, right? So first, what I will do is that I will uh, find this d as a function of x, right? So now, if we uh, look into this tapered uh, rod, steel rod from this direction, so then we will be able to see it uh, uh, in x y plane like this right so we will be able to see its front view like this right so if i represent this uh, if let's say if i draw a line here right so then and if i draw that uh, differential volume right so that differential volume will look like a rectangle from this side right so then this uh, differential volume is located at a distance of x and its its thickness is dx and its dia is small d right so this is small d right and this dia is d and this dia is kept this dia is twice of the d right so this is 2d so now we have to find the relationship between uh, d and x right so since this d is a function of x as we move along x so this d is increasing right so here at x is equal to 0 this d is equal to this capital d right and when x is equal to l right since the whole length of this tapered uh, rod is l right so when x is equal to l then the this small dia is equal to 2d right so now if i consider this triangle right i have drawn this triangle here if i consider this triangle so as we can see that if we consider two triangles right one is this triangle right and one is this large triangle right let me draw this triangle here again as well right so we are having a triangle like this and here we have that 
differential area right i have drawn this triangle only right so now what is the height of, what is the height of this triangle right this length what is this length so as we can see that uh, this length let me remove this right so this length is we can say that this length is the radius right so this radius will be this 2d divided by 2 right this whole dia is 2d so this radius will be 2d divided by 2 so we can say that this length will be d right and similarly we can see that this whole uh, length is capital d so this radius will be d divided by 2 so this length will be d divided by 2 so i can write that this is d divided by 2 so now this height will be this d minus d divided by this is that d divided by 2 right so this will be d minus d divided by 2 this height is d divided by 2 right so this d minus d divided by 2 will give us d by 2 right so this height is d divided by 2 and similarly this whole this base of this large triangle is l right this is the length of this uh, tapered steel rod and similarly this length is x and this will be this height will be this d divided by 2 minus this d by 2 right so this this whole diameter is small d so this radius will be small d by 2 right so small d by 2 minus this capital d by 2 so this is small d by 2 minus capital d by 2 right so now if we apply the properties of similar triangles so i can write that this d divided by 2 or let me write that this this length this length is d divided by 2 minus capital d divided by 2 divided by x right i will take the ratios of the corresponding sides right so this will be this perpendicular divided by this base and now this perpendicular or this height divided by this length right and i can write this is 1 divided by 2 d minus d so this 2 will cancel out right so if we cross multiply this right so this will be 1 divided by 2 into l d minus d and this will be x d by 2 so this will cancel out so we can write that this will be l d minus l capital d this will be x d we want to represent this small d right as a function of x right so i can write that this is l d and this will be x d plus l d right and we can divide this both sides by l right so the, we will have this as like this so now we can see that this small d will be equal to x divided by d l plus l divided by d divided by l right so i can write this if i take d common right so then this will be this will be cancel out so we'll be left with only one d and if i take d common so this will be x divided by l plus one so this is d as a function of x right so now we can determine the uh, total volume of this tapered steel rod by applying this equation one right so now we can say that dv pi by four we can take pi by four outside of the integration and here we have that d square dx and now d is equal to this thing right so we can write this as d square so this will be pi by four and small d square will be equal to d square i can write it as d square and x divided by l plus one square d square d uh, this is dx right so we have to integrate this from zero to l right since the maximum length is l right so the x can vary from zero to l right so we have to integrate this from zero to l 
so i can write this d square now outside of the integration since it's also constant right so this is d square so now we have to integrate this so this will be equal to pi by 4 d square and before going to integrate this i have to open this formula right so this is a plus b uh, square formula so this will be x square divided by l square plus 1 plus 2 into x divided by l into 1 dx so now we can integrate this so this is pi by 4 d square and this is x cube divided by 3 l square plus x plus 2 x square divided by 2 into l and this is from 0 to l so this will cancel out so we will be left with x square by l so now we can put these uh, limits so this will be pi by 4 d square and this will be l cube divided by 3 l square plus l plus l square divided by l so this will cancel out and this will cancel out so we will be left with pi by 4 d square this is l divided by 3 plus l and we can take l common from from this term right so we can write it as l so this is 1 divided by 3 plus 1 plus 1 1 divided by 3 plus 1 plus 1 1 divided by 3 plus 2 so this is 7 divided by 3 right so we get it as this is pi d square divided by 4 into l and this is 7 divided by 3 right so we can write that this volume is equal to 7 divided by 12 pi d square l so this is the volume of that tapered steel rod right so this is pi d square uh, 7 divided by 12 pi d square l now we have to find the x bar of the centroid of this uh, uh, steel rod right so we can apply that formula right so i can write that uh, x bar into volume xc and this is dv right so the xc is the distance of the centroid of this differential volume from the y axis right so this distance so this is xc so this means that xc this since this differential volume is located at a distance of x so this means that xc is equal to x right so i can write that this xc is x and uh, this is that dv right so we can write that this dv is pi d square divided by 4 into dx and this will be again we can write pi by 4 outside of the integration so this is x into d square dx and again we have to write d as a function of x right so this is d square right so i will write that this is d square into x divided by l plus 1 square into dx right so again we can write this capital d square out of integration and this with the integration will be from 0 to l right since the maximum value of x is l right so this is pi d square divided by 4 and now again we have to open this right so this is again i can write that this is a x square by l square plus 1 plus 2 into x divided by l dx and if we multiply this x inside so this will become x cube this will become x and this will become square so now we can take we can integrate this so this is pi d square divided by 4 this is from 0 to l and now if i integrate this so this will become x to the power 4 divided by 4 l square plus x square divided by 2 And this will become 2x cubed divided by 3l 
and this is from 0 to L. So again we can put these limits right so pi d square divided by 4 this will become L to the power 4 divided by 4 L square plus L square divided by 2 plus 2 L cube divided by 3 L. So so this will cancel out so we will be left with L square and we will be left with L square as well right so we can take L square from all of these terms right so we will be left with with this right so we can take L square common so this will be pi d square divided by 4 L square and this will be 1 divided by 4 plus 1 divided by 2 plus 2 divided by 3. So this is 17 divided by 12 right so I can write that this will be equal to let me write it here right so this is pi d square l square divided by 4 into 17 divided by 12 right and this is equal to x times the volume right so x bar so x bar and the volume is 7 divided by 12 pi d square l and this is equal to pi d square l square divided by 4 17 divided by 12 so this pi will cancel out this d square will cancel out 1 l will cancel out and this 12 will cancel out so we will be left with x bar 7 into x bar and this will be 17 divided by 4 l Right, so we are left with this one L, right? So we can say that this is X bar into this will be 17, and if we divide both sides by 7, so this will be 28. So this is the X coordinate of the centroid of this taper steel rod. So now 17 divided by 28 is uh, 0.607, right? So let's say that I write that this is point six one l right so what does this mean if l is equal to one meters then x bar is located at a distance of 0.61 meters from that origin right so this means that uh, if this length is equal to one meters then the centroid of the, the of that particular tapered steel rod will be at a distance of 0.61 meters from this origin so i hope you people would have understood this particular problem uh, like this particular video if you people want me to solve such more problems also subscribe my channel if you haven't subscribed my channel yet